night and the next day. And the whole breadth of Ashdown, meaning the Berkshire Hills, was strewn with their corpses, among which were found the body of the Viking kings and five of his earls. In a fortnight, they were again in the field. But the Battle of Ashdown justly takes its place among the historic encounters because of the greatness of the issue. If the West Saxons had been beaten, all England would have sunk into heathen anarchy. Since they the hope still burned for a civilized Christian existence in this island. This was the first time the invaders had been beaten in the field. Alfred had made the Saxons feel confidence in themselves again. They could hold their own in open fight. Shortly after Easter, Ethelred died, and they buried him at Wimborne, and Alfred became king. Within a month of becoming king, he was fighting the Danes just outside Salisbury at Wilton. His losses were horrific. According to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, after that battle at Wilton, there were at least nine major campaigns against the Vikings in the south. And, says the Chronicle, in the course of this year were slain nine earls and one king. And this year, the West Saxons made peace with the host. In other words, Alfred bought them off. Having done so, the Vikings moved for the winter to London. It's here that we find coins with the Danish king.